Welcome to the Investing in Real Estate show. I am Clayton Morris. On this show, our goal is to help you build passive income, quit that nine to five job, build a nest egg and a resource for your family to survive these crazy times. You need cash flow, and I believe the number one way to get there is with real estate as the ultimate hedge against inflation and the ability to build an amazing tax shelter and cash flow vehicles. So that's our whole goal on this show. Um, I, you can come at me with anything else and tell me that you found a better asset class. Uh, I'm not going to believe you because I've looked at all of them. So on this show, that's our goal. And one of the ways, if you know anything about my investing strategy that I've built wealth and I teach other people how to do that is with a self-directed IRA. If you've been following my show for any length of time, you know how much of a fan I am of the self-directed IRA. It gives you checkbook control of your investment strategy. It allows you to buy real estate or other things, other assets inside of a tax-free account that will grow tax-free so that when you retire, you get all of the benefits of that. And I think real estate investing inside of that account is a phenomenal way to build wealth. Certainly, as we see this inflationary environment right now, what a way to protect yourself against that. But I will say it's it's not a one-size-fits-all approach. And in fact, it might not be for everyone. So I want to give you the pros and cons of investing with a self-directed IRA as we head into this middle of the, the, the 2020s, I guess, and dealing with all of this weird inflationary geopolitics time that we're currently seeing in this upheaval. Very, very important to know where we stand with the self-directed IRA. So again, there is no one size fits all approach to this. And we ha all have different finances. We all have different situations. We might, some of us might not want to buy a piece of real estate inside of a tax deferred account because we need the cash flow now. And of course, if you have a piece of real estate inside of a tax deferred account, you can't touch that rent right now. It's going to grow tax free, but you can't go in there and start taking that out, right? That's a, that's a big no, no. So you got to wait till you retire. So again, we're all different. Some people might not need the cash flow at all. Others want the tax benefits. They want the tax benefits and tax shelter of a self-directed IRA. So to help you determine whether or not a self-directed IRA is right for you, I'm going to run through some of the pros and cons of using a self-directed IRA. I've got a bunch of notes here that I wanted to hit on, and we're going to go through them. So let's get into it. First, let's start with the pros. I, you know, I want to be positive here, so let's start with the pros. Number one, more freedom and more control. I mean, think about the power that you have. And I want to tell you a story. When I was still working in television, I had a 401k plan and it was through Fidelity. And I knew all about real estate investing. I had in fact started buying a number of real estate properties a number of years ago. And I wanted to start buying them with my 401k or inside of a retirement account and use the power of a self-directed account. So I got on the phone, I called up Fidelity and, uh, and I said, uh, hey, can I buy real estate with my 401k or my, my plan? Or is there a way that I could transfer it over to uh, an IRA with you guys and I could do it that way? They said, no, but you absolutely can buy real estate with us. That's no problem. So they will lie to you. Okay, it's not a self-directed IRA that they have. You're just going to be able to buy real estate stocks or ETFs or some other garbage product that has nothing to do with actually owning physical real estate, okay? You're gonna buy a REIT, an R-E-I-T? No, as Tom Wheelwright, our friend of the show, has said, why would you invest in an R-E-I-T, a REIT? You're three steps removed from actually owning the real asset and getting the full tax benefits. You don't get tax benefits from buying stock in real estate, okay? Like buying actual stock? No, no, you need to buy the actual asset. That's key. So. This is what truly makes the self-directed IRA stand out from any other retirement plan. The self-directed IRA is flexible. It allows for a wide variety of things that you can buy in it, not just real estate. You could buy crypto if you wanted to. You could buy gold. You could buy silver. You could buy all sorts of investments. You could buy a business. You could do all sorts of things inside of a self-directed IRA, including real estate. Now, I love that I can choose the specific investments that are inside of this account that make up my retirement portfolio. I'm not relying on some financial advisor. Now, the reason financial advisors won't tell you about this, they want you to buy stocks. They want you to invest in the things that they're telling you to invest in because they make money off of that. And very often, this is something that Robert Kiyosaki talks about. Very often, these financial advisors aren't even invested in the things they're telling you to invest in. 
they're telling you to do it because they are going to make money off of that transaction. So be aware of that. I'm not going to rely on some financial advisor or company to choose my investments for me. You know, I remember when I first set up my 401k plan at Fidelity, they gave you like a little pie chart and they're like, here, this is nice. Here are some stocks we suggest. Here are the five that you can pick from. Really? Oh, wow. I wonder if you guys are making money off of that selection of five stocks that I get to pick from for my family's future. Really? I'm not stupid, but so many people are. So please be aware that we can actually do way better than what these companies are telling you to do because they're making money off of it. So in the self-directed IRA, you can buy real estate. That's what I want to focus on because this is a real estate show and I think it provides the most bang for our buck in terms of tax benefits and cash flow to grow tax-free inside of this vehicle. Number two, higher returns with a self-directed IRA. When you invest in a regular stock-based retirement plan, you're vulnerable to the swings of the market, the stock market back and forth, the craziness up and down, up and down. But because you have more control with a self-directed IRA, then you can choose tangible assets that aren't given to the moods of the market. Right? If you've got uh, all sorts of stocks in companies like Fortune 500 companies or otherwise right now during this pandemic, you would have eaten a lot of dirt. right? And what if you were in your retirement age at the time and you decided you wanted to cash that out? Well, you would have lost a huge amount in your portfolio because you were given over to the whims of the market. But with real estate, it's a hedge against inflation and you're getting the tax benefits of said asset inside this tax-free account that grows with you. Beautiful, beautiful uh, benefit of that. Uh, number three, tax-free growth, which was leading me perfectly into talking about tax-free growth. So in addition to the tax benefits of the traditional IRA, a self-directed account has an added bonus because all of that income that we're getting coming in from all of these different sources that come inside so that we get the rent or maybe it's a business expense, all of those things flowing inside of it, right, is going to grow tax-free. The beauty of this Right? Think about that. If you've got a tenant in the property that's paying you 1100 bucks a month, 1200 bucks a month, you're not paying taxes on that. You're not paying the 30% taxes that you might be paying if you're a W-2 employee. Think about that. It's a powerful way to build wealth. Absolutely powerful. Uh, and it's also easy to set up. This is another really great benefit. When our, our team at Morris Invest, when people book a call with us, they go to morrisinvest.com and they book a call with our team. We can set up a self-directed IRA for people in about 10 minutes. Uh, that's what we do. And many of our clients then go on to buy our new construction rental properties inside of their IRA. And this is all fully managed for them. So it's cash flowing inside of the IRA. We'll have a link in the description below if you would like to book a call with our team. We'd be happy to help you get set up on a self-directed IRA and tell you all about real estate inside of this vehicle. It's phenomenal. Now, as I mentioned at the top, it's not for everyone. And with everything, there are downsides, there are cons. So let's go through some of the cons now. Number one, it's not a cash flow strategy. Remember, I said if you're investing for immediate cash flow, this is not for you. This is not, I need it right now kind of money, okay? This is gonna grow tax-free and you'll be able to take it out at retirement age at 59 years old. So if you need this cash flow now, it's not for you. This is a retirement account. So you're not gonna be seeing any of this cash flow for a while. It's just in your account growing very nicely. Very, very important to understand. Number two, there are strict rules and regulations around the self-directed IRA that you need to be aware of, not to scare you, but in order to protect that tax-free status, there needs to be some things that are in place from the IRS to make sure that they're running a tight ship on this. Number one, there are a lot of rules in a self-directed account and if you're a rule follower, good, you need to follow them. But there are certain things you can't do. You cannot invest in like comic books or collectibles and put them inside of a self-directed account. I can't go out to a, a baseball card show and buy a bunch of baseball cards with my self-directed IRA. You can't do that. There are also a number of other things you can't do about lending to yourself from a self-directed IRA. I can't buy property in my own name. I couldn't buy the house I live in using my self-directed IRA and my immediate family. I couldn't just lend it to my son. So there are a couple of things. Make sure you talk with our team about it. Now, what are some of the restrictions? But there's not a ton of them, but they are very specific. And you certainly don't want to go far afield and screwing that up. Number three, it's the no hands-on approach with your property. 
Well, in many ways, you have more control with a self-directed IRA, right? You're getting to choose the assets that you're buying here. There are some ways in which you actually have less control with your actual investment. So the IRS specifically prohibits sweat equity, meaning you're not able to do any work on your property yourself. This is where working with a team like ours comes into play, right? Because our team is going to do all the work, so you don't have to do any of it. But if that's not your cup of tea and you want to be out there fixing doors and doing other things like that, I'm sorry, you can't do that. The IRA must hire and pay someone else to do the job. It's going to hire a plumber. That plumber will be paid out of the self-directed IRA cash account, okay, for tax purposes. So, and the same with taxes. Again, someone needs to fix a faucet. You can't do it. I mean, you can tighten it yourself, I guess, but you know, you know, you know my point. You actually, if you have to hire somebody, you have to hire somebody, right? It can't be you. And that means that the account has to pay the plumber out of the self-directed account. It's a specific way that this unfolds. Receipts come in, all of that has to be tracked inside of the self-directed IRA. The same for taxes, the same for expenses. All of that needs to be flowing through the self-directed IRA. So if you're the type of investor that likes to do everything yourself, loves to manage the property yourself, loves to do all the construction yourself, loves to you know, be actively involved in the day-to-day of lie, you know, laying uh, floor tile and grout and all that stuff, a self-directed IRA purchase of that property does not make sense in this situation for you. It just will backfire on you. So there you have it. The pros and cons of investing with a self-directed IRA. And like I said, our team at Morris Invest can help you get set up with a self-directed IRA within about 10 minutes. Just book a free call with our team. It's 30 minute phone call, a little calendar will pop up. You pick the time on your calendar that works best for you and we will give you a call and we can help you take things to the next level by becoming a great real estate investor using a self-directed IRA. Thanks everyone. We'll see you next time.